and Bioware, the same team that makes the Mass Effect games. Okay. Um, basically, this is uh, kind of a, a filler. It's something that it's not necessary. It's not part of the story. Is in a sense that you don't need to know this material. Right. But um, it does give you some background information on one of the characters that is going to join uh, Commander Shepard in the new game. Okay. So in this case, so it's like a. It, so it's like a bridge? Yeah, okay. it's kind of like a bridge. And I don't know if you're familiar with, um, before they did the original Mass Effect game, they actually, there was a book that was sort of a prequel story. Okay. Same thing, you didn't need to know that book right. in order to understand and enjoy Mass Effect, but if you did, it did help. Okay. okay. So, I mean, basically, long story short, there's a lot of political unrest. This here, what's coming out of this nebulous cloud, is what's called the Citadel. It's an ancient space station. It's key to everything. Very, very important. Um, this is also those are the little jump gates, the Mass Effect, as they like to call it, where uh, it's how you travel through hyperspace. This is actually where a lot of the story takes place. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part. Actually, the combat in this game actually plays a lot like uh, we play something like Smash TV, but basically it's an overhead, um, very organic kind of shooting experience. Okay. Might be a little bit weird with the chain on here, but uh, trying to make sure that you can see what's going on. What are the controls? Are they accelerometer? So yeah, basically you'll move with the accelerometer. Um, there's auto targeting, but essentially what you want to do is touch the guy you want to shoot. Here, want to shoot him, and you know you can come in and out of cover just like you can normally. I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna hit a special ability. There it is, boom, there's a lot of damage there. Activate my extra shields. That was obviously a very quick intro combo and sequence. Basically what happens is, just like in the traditional Mass Effect game, um, the game comes out is mostly in two parts. The dialogue sequences here, and the actual store, the combat sequences. So the combat sequences are designed to be very arcadey, very um, mobile experience. You know, it's it's something where you don't want to occupy a lot of the user's time. You want to get them in, get them out, let them move on. Okay. The story sequences are very much like the uh, console game, and that you'll have Paragon and Renegade choices for your dialogue. So you know, a lot of more dialogue options than what most games offer. Does that affect the outcome? Um. For some dialogues it does, for some it does not. Okay. For example, for this case, this porter, he's ultimately going to respond to you the same way no matter what. Okay. But there's later points where it will kind of diverge sure. um, based on your choices. So, so do, you, do, you get, do, you, do you pick up special weapons or is that sort of come equipped? Um, so your assault rifle comes equipped. You can get basically like ammo bonuses, damage bonuses, health bonuses, that kind of thing. Yeah. I believe this is actually a shield bonus. Yeah, that was a okay. shield. 